say thank you to my mirror, my mirror image, my twin brother, uh, to my aunt who sits where my mother used to sit. So I know that my mother's here without a doubt. If you would, please stand to your feet. I just uh, think that if you could stand before the judge and in a courthouse, you should be able to stand to read God's word. But I excuse those who cannot. If you would turn your Bibles to 2 Kings, 20th chapter, verse 1 through 6. 2 Kings 20, 1 through 6. When you have it, just say amen. amen. If you can't find it, say hold up. Second Kings 20, 1 through 6. In those days was Hezekiah sick unto death. And the prophet Isaiah, the son of Amos, came to him and said unto him, Thus said the Lord, Set thine house in order, for thou shalt die and not live. Then he turned his face to the wall and prayed unto the Lord, saying, I beseech thee, O Lord, remember now how I have walked before thee in truth and with perfect heart and have done that which is good in thy sight and Hezekiah weep sorrow and it came to pass afore Isaiah was gone out into the middle court that the word of the Lord came to him saying turn again and tell Hezekiah the captain of my people thus said the Lord the God of David thy father, I have heard thy prayer, I have seen thy tears. Behold, I will heal thee on the third day. Thou shalt go up unto the house of the Lord, and I will add unto thy days 15 years, and I will deliver thee and this city out of the hand of the king of Assyria. And I will defend this city for my own sake. Somebody didn't catch that. I will defend this city of mine for my own sake, for my, sake, my servant David's sake. For a moment, if you would um, turn to your right and tell your neighbor, God delivered me. Turn to your left and say, God delivered me. You may be seated. I, um, I don't, uh, the Lord had me meditating on this for some months, and right before I told my wife that Pastor Monroe wanted me to preach, she left the room. To me, that is a sign that she understands it's me and God's time. 
I didn't have to close the door. I didn't have to tell nobody to hush. Everybody was in their own mindset. But I was in the room with me and God. I, I was reading yesterday, uh, uh, I, I, I came here yesterday uh, uh, as a highlighter. Uh, some of y'all will catch that one day when you see me. I, I, I was shining so bright, I think if it was dark outside, you would see me. I, 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 I was uh, fluorescent, and uh, I, I, I invited my brother and his godson to a soccer game, and uh, it was a very fascinating, fascinating sport. And I, 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 I just wanted to let Rev know that I blended in. I blended in with them because everybody had on some type of color, if it was loud or if it was light. But the word time is a word that is often taken for granted. We are all guilty of often wasting time. We are all guilty of not using our time wisely. The old glitch says, time waits on no man. So therefore, time is something we don't have much of. Many of us sitting here in this church have often wished have often wished that we could recapture the past. We have often said, I sure wish I can turn back the hands of time. I, 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 once I get to my point, you will realize that I, I don't uh, let my past predict my future. Time is one of the most valuable things that God has given to us. Well, we can waste money. It, it got quiet in here. It got quiet. We can waste money, but it's okay. We have an opportunity to earn or get money by spending much of it by working a part-time job to earn more of it. But on the other hand, I wasted time is wasted time. Once it's gone, it's gone forever. There is no earning it back. There is no negotiating it back. And there is definitely no buying it back. Time comes from God. For a few moments this morning, I want to expound on two points. I won't be long. I wish... Uh, the magicians would have stayed where they was at because I just want to be straight and to the point. Uh, first point was when it's time to go to your island of Patmos, there comes a time in life that we have to remove ourselves from everyone and everything. There are going to be some situations that require all of our attention. Mental discipline 
and consecration. There's going to come a time when advice from family and friends isn't going to mean much. And as far as going to a counselor, save your money. As they would say on TV, honey boo boo, save your money. It's not going to work. But I just wanted to share with you where you can go seek counseling, peace, and solutions for some unanswered questions. It's, coming to come, it's going to come to a time where a preacher can't be found or your pastor may be tied up and can't get to you, and he may even be out of town. But there's a place you can go that can give you all the answers. That place is called Island of Patmos. I know we have some Bible scholars in here with degrees. But I'm not talking about the place where John was excelled. That was about 20 miles long and 10 miles wide, a high mountain that reached almost the altitude of 500 feet. I am not talking about a place when John went into the mountain and received revelations from God. I'm not talking about that kind of physical place. I'm simply talking about a place where you can seek God's face. Second Corinthians 7 and 14 says, if my people which are called by my name shall humble themselves and not pray, and pray to seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven and will give their sins and will forgive their sins and will heal their land. You need a place where it's just you and God, a place that has peace a place that has tranquil. This has to be a place, a time of separation from the television being off. This is a place where cell phones and landlines are turned off. This is a quiet talk between you and God. That's why we can say just a little talk with Jesus makes it all right. That's why the songwriter says, still away. Sometimes you have to still away just, to, just you and God to seek his face for some answers. Going to the island of Patmos is not a fun place. Some tears are going to shed. Some pain and suffering is going to come at hand. This time of fasting.